budgeters and savers Chris Budgets here with this week's check-in. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed, all my new subbies out there. Welcome, thank you so much for joining me. And I also wanted to say thank you so much for also following me on Instagram and TikTok. I just wanted to say thanks. And if you haven't yet, um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you like budgeting videos, cash stuffings, sinking fund updates, pretty much anything you know budget related, um, I'm here. In today's video, I do have my baby girl's cupcakes as my um, desk decor over here. I don't, know, I don't know if you guys can see this. And it even has these cute little yellow sprinkles on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this over here. I noticed in one of my videos, and I probably do it in all of my videos, that I take the play food and put it away. Um, I, I don't know why no one has said anything, like not even my husband said anything, but I should keep this on my desk if it's gonna be my desk decor. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna leave that there for now and then I wanted to show you guys what we have going on for this week. Not a lot going on this week, you guys. It's a pretty slow week. Um, we're pretty much living, we were living off of Memorial Day cookout leftovers, but here we are now. Um, I did already take out my expense trackers for my cash envelopes over here. Now, if you watched my previous my previous cash stuffing video, you guys know I'm having a hard time um, finagling these type of envelopes. I know everyone really loves these envelopes and they're definitely convenient, um, but if you're like me who's having a hard time for some reason, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make the switch to these um, zipper type of envelopes similar to my sinking funds. Um, so I'm just using this one as an example. I have this for my savings challenge. Um, this is gonna be for, I use this for like my monthly saving challenges. I actually got this envelope from Sam. Um, I'm gonna leave all her info in the description, but Sam's Crafts and Customs, I got two of these from her. I got this size in an A5 size, which is the bigger size. And I love these because they're so convenient. And if you guys know me, I'm a challenge ho. I love to do challenges, especially the monthly savings challenges. I love to push myself, love to push our budget and see how much we can save in a month. Um, so this is what this is for and I keep it um, behind here. But let's go ahead and get started because um, it's not a lot of stuff going on. And if you watched my previous May Savings Challenge video, you know that I have money um, saved from the challenge and I did really well and exceeded my goal. Um, but I just haven't been to the bank yet, so mind your business. Don't at me, okay? I just haven't been to the bank yet. So this is where we are at. So for groceries, Groceries, we started with 180. My husband went to Food Lion, um, spent $29, and then I also went to Kroger today and spent 110. So if you guys have been following me, you guys know I go to the grocery store about once a week. Um, we do typically eat fresh. We don't eat that many frozen foods or anything like that, canned foods. Um, we do have a few like frozen staples from Trader Joe's, but we normally eat fresh. Um, and I do cook up at home a lot. Um, so yeah, it's a definitely a larger um, bill than you know a normal household, I guess. Some people would say, I don't know. Um, there's three of us in our household, so two adults and a toddler, but a toddler really eats like an adult. So that's what we have going on. So we should have $41 left. Oh, here we go. So $41 left. I'm actually gonna put the $1 aside and put that in my savings jar. And then for food, this is our food as in going out to eat, Starbucks, Dunkin', stuff like that. Um, sushi, we had sushi on Wednesday and that was 60 bucks for takeout sushi. And that was probably my fault because I don't think I ordered the right things. Normally my husband orders the sushi. I, I don't think I ordered like the lunch special stuff, but oh well, it's too late. I already ate it all. It was divine and fine, and I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about the $60. I love sushi. We don't have it all the time. My husband doesn't eat seafood, so if he wants to get like pork katsu and stuff, if he has a like, craving, I'm down. I'm down for the sushi. So we have 20 bucks left in our food envelope, and yeah, that is it, you guys. That's it, that's all I have. 20 bucks. That's it, back to bank. That's it, back to miscellaneous. Doesn't have anything, it's still $20. I haven't spent my miscellaneous envelope. 
nothing. Um, and then of course back to bank, um, I swipe my card for um, my Kroger, my Kroger purchase from my groceries. So that's it. That's all that I have. Um, again, not too much going on, but I did want to go ahead while we're here before I forget is put my $1 in my jar. It is getting a little thick, thicker than a snicker. Oh, I'm sorry, my camera's a little shaky from this jar, but um, if you guys watched my video, I showed you guys how I made this little challenge jar for like a dollar, a dollar, two dollars. I already had the jar, I just used the stickers, but this is what we have. This is my one in five savings challenge jar. I've been doing this all year. Um, I was thinking about doing a check-in um, for six months, so let me know if you guys want to see me count this up for um, the end of the month, and I can do that. If not, I'm just going to keep going towards December, um, and this could go towards you know a huge debt payment, um, Christmas or something, I don't know. It just depends where I, what I'm feeling at that time, but yeah, let me know. Um, I'm so excited to, you know, see how much I've been able to save with the one in fives savings challenge. And that is it, you guys. That's all that I have for my check-in. Um, that's it. That's all that I have. Haven't been really going to the Dollar Tree um, or Target. I, I want to go to Target, but I haven't been going. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't yet, I'm going to go ahead and link my June savings challenges um, in a pinned comment below. Um, it's a free savings challenges. There's two of them. You can pick your own amount for the jump into June. And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.